everybody. I hope everybody's had a good, blessed day today. And I can't wait to start this new year. I can't wait to see what God is going to do. And this past year has been a year of healing, a year, a year of transformation, a year of blessing, a year of seeking God in one accord. You know, I think it just keeps coming to mind about worship. How powerful is worship? You know what I mean? Like, if you read in Second Kings about this guy named Elisha, he had he was mentored by a guy Elijah. All right, so Elisha ended up inheriting a double anointing from Elijah. And Elijah was a bad dude. I mean, this dude prayed down fire from heaven. This dude, I mean, he was he was the man. So a double anointing of that, I mean, that just goes to show, man. Like he was called up in a whirlwind. Elijah and Eli and Enoch were the only two in the Bible that didn't see death. It says that it's once for a man to die. So this his the guy, the mentee I'm talking about, Elisha, came up on this king. And the king's name was King Jehoshaphat. And King Jehoshaphat wanted Elisha to prophesy for him because he was a prophet. And he had already heard about who he was mentored by. He already knew where he was coming from. Everybody at the talk of the town was like, this, this dude was mentored by the best. You know what I mean? He knew that he was a man of God, a true man of God. And kings and stuff back then wanted prophets to prophesy for him. It was important that they had a circle of prophets, that they wanted men of God to direct them. Well, more of the story what I'm getting to is Elisha stepped up on the scene and he wanted him to prophesy. The first thing he did, first thing he did, he had a double anointing of one of the greatest men. Well, he said, bring me a harpist. Bring me a harpist. You want him to administer a gift and prophesy. And he tells him, bring me a harpist so I can worship. You know what I mean? Just think of that for a second. Pause and really think of that for a second. Like, this dude's bad to the bone. Like, he got made fun of by these guys, and she bears came and mangled him. You know what I mean? God, God, he had favor on this man. But before he could prophesy for the king, he needed a harpist. If he needed a harpist, how much more do I need a harpist? How much more do you need a harpist? How much more do we need worship to administer whatever gift we have? So... What I want us to pray for this year, this coming end in 2023, I want us to pray that our gifts will come alive in Jesus' name and we're going to worship God. By the power of worship, our gifts are going to come alive and we're going to administer them to the people. People are going to be set free. Marriages are going to be restored. Lives are going to be changed. Addictions are going to be broken. I mean, you may be a prodigal child listening to this message right now. This message is confirmation. Go home. Go home. Go home. Leave them drugs alone. Them people don't care about you. I'm living proof that that stuff don't work. If there was a way to use drugs and be successful in life, I would have found it. I'm pretty smart. I would have found it. There's not. So what I'm telling you right now is put you on some praise and worship music. Worship the Lord and go home. Your family misses you. Your family wants you. 